they'll be calling you a radical. It's starting to come out. And over this 24-hour, 48-hour news cycle that the U.S. is Orwellian hypnotized. Look, if you're in vogue, you're popular. Fucking, if you're on TV, if you're popular... Fucking YouTube celebrity, you're worthless. In fact, you're more than worthless. You're being played as a fucking weapon. You don't even see that you're being used as a weapon. Talk about useful idiots. So the reality of this fucking massacre, you know, and I was talking yesterday about being the Gettysburg because that's the bloodiest Civil War battle. I got thinking about it. It's not even fucking that. Because at Gettysburg, they didn't mass murder fucking civilians, you know, grandparents, kids. So... Stay with me, and then we'll talk a little bit of Chernobyl. This is so fucking hardcore and so fucking horrific. I mean, unbelievable. I painted this. That's the name of this painting. I painted this painting in 2014-15 when they first went in there. So stay with me. So this is being reported. Now, there's lots of European journalists. You're not going to get no American journalists. You know what that's turned into. In Kiev, they're there. They're, they're getting ready to go into these suburbs. So the videos we're seeing, and some of the European media is sticking up the, the videos we're seeing are from soldiers. You know, military, Ukrainian military is posting some on social media and, you know, getting them out there. Holy fuck. So it's being reported that the woman mayor of the biggest suburb of Kiev was marched, well, I don't know if it was in her house or outside her house. Her, her husband, her kids, and her mother were lined up and executed. You know, I guess they're going to pay back for that. I mean, Nicholas twos. So, another mayor of another one, his whole family was executed. They said... The interview that I saw that uh, a Ukrainian soldier put up said they drove through, you know, they're in the towns and people were trying to flee and they just were with machine guns, just randomly killing every civilian on the street. You know, there's a really heartbreaking, it's showing this, you know, older gentleman on his bicycle dead. They booby trapped the bodies to where you touch their pick up the body, they stuck mines under them. So, you know, that, I mean, it doesn't get more cruel. They've got mines all over the city. War crimes? Fuck, this is the greatest war crimes in human fucking history. And then this globalist narrative, they're going to tell you, oh, Chernobyl's the worst nuclear... Chernobyl's not even the worst fucking nuclear disaster in the old Soviet Union. That's my act. And the globalist fucking goes along with it? What is the matter with you fucking people? Somebody says, uh, Dyson went along with it. Amy Goodman's gone along with it. Everybody's gone along. And I want to fucking explain to me. I'll debate any of them. Any of them any fucking time. How is one partial core fucking blown up, meltdown, that 700,000 men entombed, bigger than three, four actually, four full core fucking meltdowns. Four core, we've never gotten near the cores, they're in the Pacific Ocean, which have genocide the Pacific Ocean. I don't use that fucking word lightly. I do not use that word lightly. So, and I don't care if I get three views at this point. I really don't, the fucking sheep, going, going, they're fucking hypnotized. They've decided in their brain somehow that everything is political. If somebody meets some kind of political narrative that they believe in, whether it be right or left, they're all in for life, no matter what, mass murder. This, fuck, Tsar Putin, you're talking one of the greatest mass murders in human history. This is the worst fucking battle in history. These are the fucking worst human right violations in history besides Fukushima. So, Fukushima. Three full core out meltdowns. Six spent fuel pools. Well, six reactors. Multiple, multiple spent fuel. Probably hundreds of spent fuel pools. Pools stacked on top of stack. Fucking, including the spent MOX fuel, mixed oxide, fucking weapons grade. The biggest stockpile ever in the world. All blown to smithereens into the fucking biosphere. And you're going to chalk it up. The heat bubble over the western United States. The western fires. The fucking... I've proven. I've proven the fucking death that it's caused on the business. Unarguable proof. The salmon numbers, you know. Fukushima is fucking hundreds of thousands of times worse than Chernobyl. And Chernobyl's all... So the soldiers go in. And now there's videos again. 
workers at Chernobyl have posted them up on YouTube. Three buses came in, and they there's an interview with one of the plant managers in there. And he says that they were puking blood, you know, radiation poisoning. Madame Curie, she was a denier. I think she'd rather have her arms back than a Nobel Prize. You know, what happened to Pierre? <laughs> he wasn't a sympathizer. They threw him under the literal bus at the time. He says one of them, they took him across to Belarus, one of the great leukemia hospitals in the world right there. One of them's already died. They all die. Every one of them's going to die. And the people that work in there, well, they, why don't they die? They do. <laughs> they do. That's the thing people don't realize about this brutality is he bombed everybody. You know how many people have leukemia in that fucking country and be treated? And you don't think I know, oh, I fucking was given two months to live with leukemia 10 years ago. You know, bombing it out. Fukushima is, I, the Fukushima denial is the, well, it's the greatest crime in human history is the cover up. Fukushima denial is the greatest mental illness. You know, I'll be in Vienna soon. And, uh, you know, fuck. Can you imagine, speaking of Vienna, can you imagine Freud, what he could do with the Fukushima denial? It's unfucking believable. It's unfucking believable. It's fucking heartbreaking. It's fucking heartbreaking. Uh, I mean, I'm going to brand myself in history. I'm going to make sure because our small, tiny army. So I'm dealing with not Sierra Club and all these fundraisers. No, no, they don't, they're worthless. I have different people that I talk to in Austria that are grassroots, hardcore activists, that the real ones that get all the work done. That pe I mean, people that are there. So I know the truth. I'm the guy that first reported they were killing a thousand people a day. I first reported there was there over eighteen thousand a week ago. It's over twenty thousand Russian soldiers. Russia got annihilated. You know, Putin. Don't give, I mean, this is what a narcissistic, unchecked freak. It's never enough for the guy. It will never be enough for this. And he was just let go muck when he executed Anna. This is beyond. This is the greatest fucking war crimes. This why well, I won't call them war crimes. This fucking massacre. I don't call it a fucking, this is, I mean, the war's been going on since 2000. These fucking, I don't even know what you call, well, they're imperialists. These imperialists, King Z, there are fucking referendums going in Hungary right now. They're voting right now as we speak in Budapest. And so, unfucking real The Putin sympathizers, <laughs> speaking of Putin sympathizers, one of the worst in history, Sarah Palin's running for Congress. Oh, fuck. Left pill, right pill, you're all in. Not me. Fuck you. Not me. I refuse. This is fucking beyond horrible. This is beyond nightmarish. I mean, you're talking. You're going to see it. These uh, reporters. There's hundreds of European reporters in hotels in Kiev. Because they never made it there. I mean, they didn't get there. And so they've been safe. Now, they're, you're going to see some ones with some guts, and I know who it'll be. This young woman that's, and her guy, and there's like about a 30-year-old uh, freelancer. He's been on the front lines. And these, and they've been so good that they've been giving up their footage in the name of humanitarians for free to European media, and they're going to put them up. That'll be the first two. It'll be her. You know, I, I'm trying to think of her. Oh. So... She'll get it out, and I've already seen a lot of it because Ukraine soldiers are videoing it, putting it up. They just indiscretionally are mass murdering, well, for the March Massacre, civilians. This is, un this, we're a whole new territory here. This is, Ivan the Terrible, oh, fuck. Uh, this is way past any of it. This is a whole new fucking top with a whole new dynamic, with whole new words, whole new language. You know, I'll go back to, you know, Chagall, when he painted, did all the artwork in World War One. Fuck, this is even worse than that. Way worse than that. You know, meanwhile, back on the ranch, fucking, and these fainting goats are going to continue. And all this so-called alt media, they'll tell me, I know Amy personally. She, oh, she's lost all credibility with me. I, I doubt I'll ever speak to her again. She, I'm that pissed off and I know her personally. Fucking. She regurgitates the fucking globalist mainstream narrative to protect her fucking money. 
Uh, these people are branding themselves. And it's, it will be written. It will be written into the fucking gilded and gold. Casting in concrete. Fucking on the concert halls. Cathedral fucking walls. What's left of them. These people all brand that said Chernobyl is the worst nuclear energy, word for word, verbatim, what the fuck? And I, the IA lied, by the way. Now that piece of shit saying that he wasn't there. We're going to go there. He's covering for them. Just like the mainstream globalist media is covering for Putin in nuance. Fucking just like they're promoting, oh, Fukushima's a hoax, no chance to the moon. Anybody that's real, grassroots, like my friends that are in, you'll never see them on TV. The real ones, that's, that's who we are. We are, you know, Holy go fuck. Ho, 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 ho. This is the worst fucking atrocities probably in fucking human history. For real. For real. Indiscretionally, just, she says, she says, they were just running through to people, running, fleeing, whole families, and they're just, just mowing them down. Mass murder. I mean, well, I'm reported a month ago, there's well over 100,000 dead civilians and Jeff Bezos paper why he's going to play cricket with the Asian billionaire and oh, fuck just because they don't call themselves kings and lords the United States does not mean they're not kings and lords I thought we fought against the revolution you know against the monarchies in the revolutionary war you know in honor of the great Vincent van Gogh you know that's what this painting is you you know you know Vincent van Gogh did those great paintings on Millet you know <laughs> van Gogh on Millet Blanche on Van Gogh and Malay on Fukushima. Holy ka fuck. Holy ka fuck. Oh, 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 oh. This fucking monster Putin. Can you believe it? Can you fucking believe it? Even me is, you know, and I, nobody's gone after fucking Tsar Putin as hard as I. When he murdered Anna, you know, the dirty war she called it. That's her book called The Dirty War. Fiona Hill called him out. You know, I've been calling him out since fucking the 90s. Before he was even so-called fucking president, which he's a czar. He's a king. <laughs> Go ahead. I want everybody, start tagging it. Start putting them on these links. Then people are doing it. Everybody that's supposed to call science that says that Chernobyl's the worst nuclear energy. Fukushima's the worst nuclear energy. Well, Fukushima's the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. This is the worst bloodbath, fucking, those, Fukushima and Tsar Putin's March Massacre, Ukraine are the two worst fucking human rights, fucking war crimes in human fucking history. You know, please for me, go ahead. It's fucking, that means it's beyond heartbreaking. I'll be in Austria soon, in May, it looks like, you know, and hopefully I can get into Ukraine.